Hello, everybody. I am Chris O'Mealy. It is September now. Although it may have been September when we did this last week. But, yeah. Uh, we're ready to play some Super Nintendo. I'm joined by Dan Peck. Hi, Dan. Hello. And how are you, sir? I am doing well. Good. Ah. Uh, so many fun things to play. Let's quickly recap uh, all the streams that we've been going through lately. Um, I did a little DuckTales Remastered and Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures. Those are both up on YouTube now. Our YouTube channel is CKCC Video. If you guys are watching this on Twitch and not on YouTube, then you need to know where to go. What have you been streaming lately? Well, Monday I did the uh, Super Cards. <clears throat> Yesterday I played a little Dungeon Siege, like a 20-year-old PC game. Yep, I saw that. And then I, I ended yesterday by doing Sporkle quizzes for about an hour and a half-ish. I was in the chat helping you out with those. Somebody yeah, I had some real tough ones, like, name all the AEW TBS champions. I can't believe that's even a thing that's up there. That's hysterical. And all, this, all the All-Atlantic champions. And all the trios champions. Dude, the NWA champions. We got almost all of them. So that was good. Well, I kept racking are... my brain like crazy and thinking of all these old time names. And I was going through like the Jim Cornette Rolodex. I'm like, who's he always talking about? <laughs> Just start throwing those names out there. Dan Severn is the guy who was I champion have known from 95 that. to 99. I should have known that because <laughs> I've heard those stories. I, I was mad that it took me so long to think of it. Yeah, so, uh, so we're going to do some more Super Nintendo Melee. Um had some had some fun recently. Got some surprises. Let's see what today's in store. What's the first game on the list, Dan? Super Smash TV. Super Smash Brothers. Title. No. Super Smash TV. Oh, and I'm thinking, oh, it's got to be. <clears throat> Next game is Super Scope Six. Here come the supers. This is an acclaim game, which means it's going to be fortunately. We won't be playing it today. Uh, yes, I do not have a copy of Super Scope 6. We'll talk about it a little bit, but, um... Well, also, we had, there was another game that we tried to play the other week. It turned out I didn't actually have it. Oh my god, it's 1999! Is Prince here? I'm gonna play like Hell yeah. Yeah, so if... if uh, there was another game I'm going to look into doing. And if there are games that end up coming up on the list and I don't have them, I'm going to put them to the side. And then later when I get them, we're going to do a bonus episode and go back and play those games. So. so Smash TV is a twin stick shooter. Now, Christopher, you have a uh, your, your, your current game pad is a replica of a Super Nintendo gamepad, right? It is a Super Nintendo gamepad. Look at it. Could you please look at it and tell me when I say this is a twin stick shooter? Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> There's no sticks, <laughs> let alone twin sticks. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, essentially, in this game, you move in a direction and you shoot sometimes in a completely different direction. What Chris is going to have to do is move in 3D space with four directions. And he has the four buttons on the controller to shoot in those directions as well. Aha. So this is not... To say this is more difficult than the uh, arcade version is an understatement. So I kind of get what they're going for with the controls here. I guess usually you have eight eight axes on on, on the D-pad. They so had that by the time. The D-pad is helping me move, and then when I hit the buttons, I shoot in that direction. Yeah, you shoot in the direction of so. B would be shooting down. Yep. A would be shooting right. X would be shooting up, and Y would be shooting left. Right. I have that correct. You have that 120 percent accurate. That is impossible. <laughs> By definition, you can only get 100 percent. You will give 110 percent. 
Oh, I guess I touched something I shouldn't touch. Bingo. I'm guessing that was a DMI or something. Probably. Oh. This is violent as hell. Uh, I got hit by a baseball bat. Playing this with people on Xbox Live Arcade, where it was actual twin stick shooting. Because <laughs> it was based on the arcade mode. Right. I popped up on the on the screen. Said stuff. The host, yeah. Once. I'll buy that for a dollar. I imagine he probably doesn't do it as often on the console as he did in the arcade. Oh, I've been shot. Ooh, this is getting hard now. First of all, the enemy count is ridiculous. This is actually very, very, very difficult to keep up with. Oh, I got a Contra spreader. Let's mess some stuff up now. Gonna fuck shit up. This is uber violent. Go at Super Nintendo. I'm literally blowing people up on a Super Nintendo game. But it's overhead, barely humanoid sprites, as opposed to Mortal Kombat. Or even Wolfenstein. Because Wolfenstein was super edited on the Super Nintendo. So what, what, was, what game was it where they're like, Nintendo was like, oh no, you can't have them bleed out. And they're like, so they changed the color of the blood to white and it just looks like everything just got come all over. Would that be like Killer Instinct or something? So it was some kind of game where people bleed during it, and they're just like, nope, no blood. And like, okay, what color can we change it to? And they're like, white. Would you like an example of fun bullet help? Ten this? Contestant one. Yeah, this is actually fun. Oh god, they got a tank. They brought a tank. They have a cave troll. Although one hit kills is kind of shitty. There's so much happening at once, and I have it set to easy. Wow. Eight big prizes. Oh, I love it. All right, I think we finally reached the end. There we go. Of this level... Meet Mr. Shrapnel. Ah, this is the end. My only friend, the end. Remember, this is a game show. In the future year of 1999. Why didn't they go further in the future? Why did so many things in the 70s and 80s take place like in 2000? why the uh, Cohen O'Brien show. Big money, big prizes. Oh, I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> Cohen O'Brien show doing in the year 2000 and 
they were still doing it after the year 2000. That was the fucking joke. It was hilarious. And then, when they did, when they went to the freaking Tonight Show, they made him change it to the year 3000, not killing the entire show. Well, the Tonight Show almost killed Conan, so. I love how when they when they had the countdown for the thing they did the they did like the we're spending all our budget on on these characters or whatever. Yeah. And people thought that they were actually spending like a million dollars on these things. Like, they would spend like twenty dollars. Like, I was also a. Say it. I was also a really big fan of Conan's exit interview, which it was Steve Carell dressed like an like an executive. I think my favorite part of that, they asked him a question like, would you consider working here in the future? <laughs> and he's like, and everybody, all whole audience just starts laughing. Ah, Contra Spreader for the win. Ah, I was so busy shooting the horde of people coming through the one doorway that I got trapped by somebody com in a completely other direction. This is actually getting really rough to keep up with. That was the point of the game, is to keep pumping the cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you recently played the Ninja Turtles arcade games again. You know how cheap they are. My god. There were boss fights I'm playing in there, and I'm like, I am doing perfect, and I have died ten times in this fight. Some of those boss fights are so hard that I can't imagine doing ever doing them in the arcade. Like, I would have gotten beyond destroyed. So this is an appreciative pick-up-and-play type of game. I didn't have to know anything about this game to just pick it up and just go nuts with it. This is how an arcade game should be. That's also, yeah, it was, it was an arcade game, so... Right. Can't really mess around with story. You just gotta go, go, go. In the year 1999, shit's so fucked that this is how we entertain ourselves by people literally dying. Please tell me that's in the official instruction manual. <laughs> shit's so I fucked. Just it <laughs> no, I just think that would be funny if it said that. So I can't walk on enemies. They only they only get me if they successfully swing the bat. Which they are doing a great job of. The only bad thing I have to say about this game is it's making my fingers hurt. That's my current negative review. <laughs> it's actually hurting. But I'm going to use up all my continues before I give this one a, a go home. I do wish there was a way I could tell how much progress I've made and how long until I don't have to do this anymore. I think it just keeps going. Probably. I think the final boss is the is the final boss is like the announcer's huge head on a humongous tank that takes up more counts. That's that's actually perfect. What's well, like how the end boss of the uh, um, South Park Let's Go Tower Defense play or whatever? Mm -hmm. The end bo the end boss is the Asian announcer, which is hysterical. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd 
buy that for a dollar. Jesus Christ, he's got laser eyes! The cool thing about this is you can, like, attack specifically the guns. So the guns will stop shooting at you. Well, I can if he's all the way at the bottom of the map. Well, that means he also can't shoot you, so... I know, but that also meant that I couldn't shoot him. There we go. Guns are gone. He just has his eyeballs and, and, and be able to... I don't even know if I'm landing any hits. I think pretty much if it hits him, it's hit. Till the end. Oh, he ran me over. Ten seconds, contestant. One. What? Well, so, I'm making some uh, progress because he's doing different stuff now. Pat McAfee is going to be on SmackDown. How come? Because he's going to be doing College Game Day on Saturday. And in, a, in, a, in order to do both, which he actually has done before, a few years ago. Remember when they did a Saudi show and the Saudis held most of the talent hostage? Yes. He did that show as a, as he got called by Triple H and asked for a favor. He did that show in Buffalo. And then he flew to Memphis for, game, for college game day and he got approximately two hours or something. When he he said that he got the offer from ESPN to do College Game Day this year, and he went to the WWE and he's like, "What can we do?" And they're like, "Oh, uh, you could go and do Game Day. <laughs> You're not gonna do both. They won't let you do both because you will be killing yourself if you try to do both the entire time." Until probably what the end of the year. Ah, I think I've been ran over too many times. Oh well. That was pretty fun though. I dug it. What is the next game? It is Super Scope 6, which we can't review. Because I don't yeah. have it, but what comes after that? Nolan Ryan's baseball. Oh, more baseball games, huh? Well, at least this is Nolan Ryan, so maybe it'll be better. I don't know. I haven't... Those Griffey games are just so perfect. My favorite thing... So, I, did I tell you yesterday about that Roger Clemens' son, Cody Clemens... Oh, yeah. I, I found the article, and I tweeted about it. He, uh... Made his major league debut the other day, maybe just yesterday even. And his first strikeout was against Shohei Otani. And after the game, Shohei Otani signed the ball when <laughs> he gave it to him. Right. <laughs> anyway, Owen Ryan baseball. Very cartoonish graphics. Right. Oh. Apparently, the B button does nothing. The B button. The B -b 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 button. So this is not with the MLBPA. So the only person that's in the game as that is real is Nolan Ryan. Nice. Man, is this another one of those games where you just can't hit anything? Yeah, I just struck out completely. Now watch them score on me a hundred times. So there's a season mode and it goes for a hundred games. That's a lot. Which is not the full 162, but hey. And there technically is no playoff unless the season ends with multiple teams tied for first place.
Good night. And... See, every other game got it right with how they would do the, the fielding. These games, it just, it doesn't make sense. You just kind of have to figure it out. Good God, this is awful. None of these early base, once these later baseball games came out, they feel like they made all these new game, these old games obsolete because they just aren't fun. You're saying it made them absolutely and they are to be deleted. The, the cartoony graphics are fun, but like, the music's kind of neat. But look at this. He's gotten a hit every time. I can't even throw it at home. Get the hell out of here with this. What's the next game? Pit Fighter? Oh, okay. We ready for an F tier? Ex pro wrestler, kickboxing champion. I mean, champion. you just gave up on a game in the top of the first with no outs. Because I know I'm not going to have fun playing that. And it's, if it wasn't for these later games that I know are better, it might be a different scenario. I, I think I have to be Buzz, the ex pro wrestler. Kill. No. So why is this considered one of the worst Super Nintendo games ever made? They made a movie? It's a Pit Fighter film. Let's open it. I'm right. literally just mashing buttons on this guy. Okay, so I'm starting to get it now. The controls make no sense. There's no strategy. I'm literally just smashing buttons. And that's it. It's one, it's a one-hit kill. It's a Tengen game. And I don't think Tengen games were considered very good. Can you find some reviews of Pit Fighter out there? Also, I'm literally mashing buttons, and I'm doing different moves, which means the moves are either randomized, or there's a weird combo system I haven't figured out yet. I haven't figured out how to block. Well, computer and video games gave it a 90% for the arcade version. Oh, no, the arcade, ver the, the arcade version I've heard isn't bad. Megatech gave it an 80% for the Mega Drive version. George and Rob and I reviewed the Super NES version for Nintendo Power. George commented that the game was extremely difficult to control and that Rob commented on the graphics using digitized people. Stating it doesn't matter if it uses new technology or not, the question is, is the game fun? And I think the answer in this case is no. Well, I might as well at least play as all three fighters. Okay, Kato. Okay, okay. Wow, okay, Kato okay. bowed at the very beginning and immediately took two hits as a result. How's that for? So the hit detection, let's let's discuss. Okay, so the graphics look awful, even for digitized people, because obviously we've seen digitized people done way better. The controls are extremely unresponsive. The hitbox is completely off. The music is generic and boring. The sound effects look like ass, or sound like ass. The background looks like ass. Yeah. All right, you know what? We might as well do this now. Because you got it up. Uh, go ahead for Smash TV and give that a solid B tier. Put an NA for Super Scope. Because we can't play it. That we're That's going to be a revisit. And then give Nolan Ryan a D tier. I'm not going to have fun with it. But it's also one of those games that I probably just suck at. Pit Fighter, give that an F. That is absolutely worthy of the F tier. Let's try this next game.
Smart ball. But is it smart? By the way, fans, we are on our fourth game played, fifth game total. This might be a short it's stream. It's 25 minutes into the stream. Oh, it's so cute. Maybe we'll be doing more Sparkle quizzes after this. <laughs> okay, so how do I attack enemies? Or maybe I don't? You're a smart ball. You don't have to be violent. You're smart enough to not be violent. Looks like I'm collecting balls, which I'm assuming I can use as weapons. Smart ball. Got to figure out a way to get up there. The player plays a little jelly bean with eyes named Jerry, traveling across a grassy landscape. Jerry? Is there a way to jump higher? The player is able to defend Jerry or attack enemies by controlling certain physical characteristics of Jerry, such as flattening or stretching his body in order to hit enemies or fight by fighting objects, such as balls, to throw at enemies. The player can also run by pressing the Y button on the controller. Jerry has the ability to stick ah. to walls and ceilings, which is activated by holding the Y button as he jumps toward them, adding an advantage over his enemies. Oh, jeez. Okay. How do I jump higher? Like, how do I make this jump? Or am I not supposed to make this jump? Oh, okay. Okay, if I get on the enemy and then I duck down, it kills them. All these little mice are gonna die. Can you climb the wall with the with holding Y? Oh, there's a double jump. Or maybe not. Trying to figure that out. There we go. I just have to do a running jump. Okay. Oh no, I killed Jerry! Jerry, it works. I wonder how you throw the balls. I haven't figured that out yet. Oh Jesus. Fell off the elevator. You fell. Ah, ha, ha, ha. there we go. I pulled off a double jump, and now I can't figure out how I did it. God, that was lucky. Hmm, not very good at this wall jump and stuff. Okay, let's try this again. It seems like a fun little platformer. I just have to figure out all the all the control quirks, and I might be able to have some fun with this. Poop with him from underneath them. Yeah, 
You know what I'm getting vibes of from this? You're gonna laugh when I tell you. you this game's... <laughs> you knew it! You knew! I didn't even have to say it, and you knew. <laughs> you knew exactly what I was going for. Got all the Jerry's. We're going to town. This is actually a pretty fun little platformer, I gotta say. Who would have thought that this there. was gonna be the winner? So I think in the other room they're watching something where they censoring swears and there's a lot of them. Because all that? I'm hearing out there is, mm, mm. Oh, your family? Yeah. <laughs> my mother and my grandmother, most likely. No, Jerry! I'm sorry, Jerry. I didn't do that. Why do you live it? Why is there a town in the middle of lava? Why are there pterodactyls shitting fire? That's a better question. You think dinosaurs would be a little, <laughs> would live a little further away from downtown? <laughs> <laughs> are we going to become those game critics now? It's just a uh... ah, there it is. Old Jeff, old Jeff Foxworthy bit about when his family came to visit him. And they took him to the Liberia Tar Pits. And his brother says, You'd think dinosaurs wouldn't live this close to them. Wonder what happens when I collect all the Jerry letters. Oh, we got a boss fight. As in you spelling Jerry? Whoa, dude. Ooh, freaking dead bird destroyed that building. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you got a Shreky right before it, though. You're gonna oh, regurgitate balls at him? Poor Jerry. I feel so bad. I keep getting him killed. Oh, Jerry. I'm so sorry, dude. God damn it, Jerry. Actually, in this case, I think Jerry's gonna be mad at me. I'm the one who keeps getting him killed. Like you're the one that put him in this situation. You could have just stayed at home. And he keeps his balls. He keeps dying like one of those Giga Pets. He like curls up and falls over. You remember the Giga Pets that were like perfect circles? Oh, Jerry, I'm so sorry. This is actually surprisingly difficult to attack this boss. Considering that you're walking right in there and immediately losing most of your health. The way that it's it's blinking Jerry looks like it's like someone's like uh right. Jerry, Jerry. Oh. That was actually a pretty easy boss fight. Once I got around killing Jerry, you realize the boss dies in just a few hits. Classic. Only need like three or three to five hits usually. This might be a B-tier game, I gotta say. This is fun. I feel like this is way more fun than it has any right to be. <laughs> we in the sewer now, boys. Tell me if you see any turtles. Oh, I've already played that.
This is relatively clever, dude. I <sighs> can't figure out how to do this part, though. I wonder if I just have to get up and platform over there. He doesn't seem to be able to do the, uh, to go around as well as I want him to. Drops right on guy. you can tell us about this game, Dan. Let's see if I can find more information. Who made this game first off? Ball was developed by Game Freak! Really? Okay. System Sakam and it was published by Epic slash Sony Records and Sony Image Soft. A sequel called Jerry Boy 2 was in production but never released. Aw, poor Jerry. Jerry Boy 2! Oh shoot, I don't want to be in the water! Get away from the piranhas! A young boy named Jerry was a prince and ruler of the kingdom, but was transformed into a blob by a mysterious witch at the behest of his jealous brother, Tom, who had a crush on the young princess. So here's what I can't figure out. How to navigate up the wall. I can't get figure out how to get the controls to get me to... Okay. Like, I'm trying to... Oh! Ah! I just can't figure that part out. Now I can't get out of the water. There we go. Hmm. Okay, or I can just do that, I guess. So it's one of these games where... Oh! the thing I'm struggling with the most right now are the controls. How did I just float? Hold on a second. You gotta be kidding me. Apparently if I hold B I can float a little bit. I think I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, Jerry, I'm so sorry, dude. I can't figure out 
how to get you over there, bud. I'm doing everything I can. You got in trouble getting over? Oh, I missed! <laughs> oh, I had it too! How do you think he feels? He used to be a real boy. Jeez, I can't make this jump. Oh, this sucks. I want to keep playing this game, too. But I can't make this jump. I just can't figure out how to get the controls to cooperate and make the actual leap that I need to make here. Fire assholes back. Thankfully, this isn't a game with a time limit. Ah, oh, man. I genuinely want to keep playing this game. But I can't get this jump, so I'm going to end up having to give up on it. It's not like I can look up a guide online how to make the jump. Every time I get back to this part... There we go. There we go, buddy. Jerry. Oh my god, I started way back here. Okay. Now I have to make the jump again. Jerry. I killed the little pink fire by hitting him from below. So I wonder if that's part of the trick here is it's all about, um... And what happens if I don't go through the sewer? Oh, you have to go through the sewer. Okay. Well, that's why I checked. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I can do this. Is there any reason I can do this? Oh, just to get the ball up there? It gets a little slippery when you do the, the quick jumps. The controls do get a little slippery. I thought this was going to be the game I'd end up enjoying the most tonight. You little bastard. You're just going to come back at me like that, aren't you? Not cool, dude. Get 
Ah. Hey, I have a new reference to games that hurt my fingers. Are you ready, Dan? Whenever a game hurts my fingers, we are officially going to note it as a Sin Cara game. Oh. <laughs> I was actually... I was actually hoping you were going to pop a little more for that, but... Oh, well. Alexa, be quiet. I don't even know how that turned on. Oh, no, Jerry. I dropped him on the piranha. I'm so sorry, Jerry. Forgive me, buddy. Hurt my feet. Should we explain to the listeners why that joke is funny? In case there is somebody who is watching this later who doesn't know who Sin Cara is. Well, the original Sin Cara, who was the second Mystico. Jesus, that's so complicated. And is actually Mystico again now. Yes. Um. Uh. He uh. At first, he had a lot of mishaps that actually weren't his fault, but he had a lot of mishaps. Then, eventually, he had a lot of mishaps that were his fault. <laughs> and one of them, infamously, was on a match on TV. He called for a super early finish because he hurt his fingy. Yeah, he, like, broke his finger and immediately called for the match to be stopped. And people were like, really? Because... How many wrestlers have worked with uh, other broken appendages and survived just fine? I'm going to just say, out of, like, all matches that had to be ended quickly due to injuries, a little a finger injury is not, doesn't rank. Triple H had Rob Van Dam land right on his throat, and he wrestled another 10 minutes, I think. With a crushed larynx. Oh, God, yeah, and I, I remember watching that. That was Survivor Series. That was the first hell, the first uh, Well, you all, chamber. we all remember Triple H tearing his quad and how ugly that was. Taz broke his neck, finished the match, and then walked to the hospital with Tommy Dreamer. How did you get here, sir? I walked. No, you didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. And they're like, well, you shouldn't even be alive right now. Didn't they tell him that, too? Like, you sh literally should not be alive. Come on, Jerry, stick to that wall. There you go, buddy. He used to be a real boy. Now he's a ball. I mean, he's trying his best here. Okay, there we go. Sometimes the solution is actually easier than what I'm trying to make it. I missed an R, but that's all right. Nope, I did not want to do that. Jerry. I think those letters might be checkpoints. That tracks, I think. The letters might be checkpoints. It kind of stinks that you have three hearts, but you only start with that. Ugh, this game's actually hurting my fingers, or I would keep going right now. 
but I'm gonna have to do this whole level over again. This was a surprising, funly fun platformer. Okay, what's the next game, Dan? It's probably be the fifth one, I believe. Lemmings. Okay, now I've never played this before. I know it has a reputation. I believe it's an escort mission game, if I'm not mistaken. Essentially. Okay. The lemmings move forward. You do your various things to make them not so they don't all die. I played this on PC. It's easier with a mouse. Uh, I hate when you say that. So basically, these little blue-colored, green-haired guys, they'll just keep moving to the right. And basically, you give them different jobs. Like, some will just... Their job is to just stop. And that will make anyone who walks into them turn around and go the other direction. Level one, just dig. Okay, well, let's, let's give this a whirl. So I want to dig the hole and get them all down in the... So basically, you want to f give enough of them a job where they dig through that area and make it down to the next area. And you don't want it to be when they're heading to the left because they'll just head off to the left and not get to the end, 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 ending part. Uh, okay, so... I want to pick this. And now, what do I want to do? Select the dirt or select a lemming? You select one of the lemmings and they'll start digging down. Okay. Oh, that's a pause. Get to it? Take... The pause button is, paw is like a paw of an animal. And then do I want to block this off or something? Or do I want to just hope they all go that direction? You might need to get ready for one a stopper to go in when they start heading if they start heading left. Yes. Which one's that's that that one guy is just gonna not make it. And it's just gonna be tough because he can't. Oh, they're make coming it back. Around. Which one's got a stopper? No, no, you don't need to do it, he's gonna make it. I see that now, but like it should be the one where they're standing with their arms stretched out and their hands are, are uh, perpendicular okay. to the ground. I'm doing this from memory because I because the screen I'm looking at is incredibly small because of what I have going on on my computer. That's okay. I'm going on my memory. So you saved all of them. This one, you need to give each, every single one of them an umbrella so they don't die when they fall. Oh, you got that one at the last possible moment. I know! <laughs> You have heard yes tonight. Yeah, you're playing. He's playing Lemmings. Are you? Yeah, I... Oh, hi, Matt. That's the voice. Oh, wow. It's the voice of Matt you're hearing, the fiend in our Among Us streams. Yeah, let me lower the volume to your actual. Listener, screen. listener, turn down your radio. Um, Eric will join in a second too, because we were just chatting over there. Oh yeah. This is our last game of the day, but I, I I played this on PC at a friend's house growing up, so. Yeah, I played it once before. This is one where you're going to have to make them stop them from going back and forth because they're going to fall and just die. Okay. So stop the one at the end to make them all go turn the other direction. Oh, you know what? I just realized they're all falling. Okay. Yep. You want to put a stopper so they start heading left. And then when they drop down the next one and they start going left, stopper so they start going right. Then when they drop down, they continue going right. Stop or they go yeah. left again. Well, you guys are doing playing and joining that. I'm gonna play Fall Guys real quick before work. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I am on my PlayStation 5. I, uh... Our podcast episode, our last one, before this one gets uploaded, was at 41 views. That's our largest viewed episode so far. Very good. This is actually the first Super Nintendo Melee I've had somebody other than Dan join us. <laughs> I didn't even realize you guys talked in here when you did this shit. Yep, this is what I always do. We uh... This specific show we do it on here, yeah. So for for uh, anybody curious, uh, Matt is one of our regular streamer partners here. Uh, Matt, tell everybody about your podcast and your Twitch channel. All right, sure. Uh, so Eric, who's part of uh, Chris's many podcasts that he does, <laughs> is also a part of mine that is called The Sick Minds of Matt and Eric. Uh, we mainly talk about video games. Oh, this asshole just told me. Uh, help me. <laughs> um, we talk about video games, anime, uh, pretty much anything nerdy that we can get away with. And yeah, we recently talked about a game that we've been playing a lot called Soul, Soul Hackers 2. And that is our largest viewed episode. So we might continue talking about video games instead of anime that much now. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. We enjoy it. If you like anime, you like video games, especially JRPGs and all that, that is definitely something to go view our podcast. It's We have a lot of fun with it, you know. And then our my Twitch channel is twitch.tv Bruin35, because someone has Bruins35, which is really obnoxious. Uh, real quick, Dan, how do I undo what I did now? Because the I level's think there's not... a reset button? There's one that makes it back to normal? Uh, okay. Is there like a walker button or? Uh... That's what I'm looking for. Or you can just blow them up. <laughs> Use that blow up button on the right there. Look at those modern day graphics. <laughs> you love them. That's Eric. <laughs> and so they'll all blow up in five seconds. Yep. Very good. Yeah, over on my Twitch channel, uh, I think I'm mainly going to stream Fall Guys with you guys because, honestly, that is just too much fun not to stream that with everyone because we have way too much fun with that with Fall Guys with all of us. Yeah, that was a blast. Oh, no, what Even is though this? I wasn't there for What's that happening? Long, it was great. What do I need to do? I don't know. This one, you need to have a digger, and then you'll need to probably need a stopper, and you'll need to tell them all to climb. I'm playing Dan's favorite game right now, mini game in Fall Guys. Oh, yeah? Yeah, roll on. <laughs> it's my second most hated. I'm starting up Fall Guys. Oh, you went with the digger instead of the, you went with the uh, miner instead of the. It's, it's all I have to utilize. Okay, so then you start making them climb up. Right. Why is that one guy just going off to the left? What's what's his deal? Because he uh yeah he's out. Wow. He was the digger, not the. He was a gold digger. Apparently they're coming oh, back. So. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. I oh god, that's terrible. Get up, you. F this is actually gonna make my stream really awkward because I'm also doing this as a YouTube show. Having you guys come on and t talk, play Fall Guys at the same time. Nobody's going to know what's happening. Well, I'm not playing Fall Guys. I'm actually watching your stream. Oh, thanks. Yeah, man. I have your stream up on my, uh, on my web guys, browser. Can you guys join in in the, in the chat room? We need, we need five people sure. chatting at some point, so. Let's see. How do I do this on fucking the Internet Explorer replacement, which is called This Edge. is a really clever little game. I, I'm digging this. <laughs> H H H two news put butts after I put let me <laughs> let me butts <laughs> let him butts let me butts in <laughs> on my screen it says let butts me in so <laughs> that's hysterical oh come on now it's making me sign in and everything all right I guess I have to like. Stop watching and actually use my normal web browser. I'm 
not entirely sure what to do with them now. Definitely think I spelled one wrong. You gotta uh, make the ones that punch through punch through the next wall too. Oh, on this side. Because you pat you got them through the one wall. And I think that I think further on the right is more is more wall to go through. Got it. No, not to the left. I don't think. I don't think that's the correct direction. Well, I can't send them to the right because I already hit somebody to punch. Well, at least they're coming back. Well, you could make forty-four people into punchers, so. What do you got to punch? He's playing the lemmings game. Have you ever played that when you were younger? No. I might I just I might money. just blow them up and uh, start over again. Because I I definitely messed this level up really bad. So. Oh, no, they will just keep climbing up and down this section. Yeah. They blow up and stuff. It's like worms. Yeah, I just worms killed. Worms aren't I just killed. Them it all. is. It's the lemmings are the. Oh no! I'm not fucking paying attention. <laughs> Especially in this game, I need to pay attention. It's a snowball game. Muppet. No, Eric, what's a funny word? Well, you're streaming right now, so I'll, uh... Yeah, good God. <laughs> no! <laughs> I got eliminated. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what's your favorite Muppet, Chris? Ooh. I'm gonna go with Animal. Animal Classic. was always my boy. Classic. Let's see, top Muppets. Uh, oh, you know what we should do as a series for YouTube? We can get all four of us in on this too. We should do a, one of those tier ranker gimmicks. Ooh. Yeah, we could. Send you in by Matt. Uh, yeah, I just got eliminated, so yeah, I can do that. So you're going to want someone to punch or dig through so then they can get to that exit. Right, I see that. Yeah, give me one second. I need to run and grab my food real quick. Okay. I'll join, but give me one second. I should probably go take a piss. There we go. And then you get them in and they go in. And then they get saved. Once you figure out what they all do at the bottom, and you kind of figure out the puzzle scheme, this is actually really fun. Like an old school strategy game. Yeah, it's neat. Just wish they'd go a little faster. There's no fast forward button? There's no auto save? <laughs> I'm playing a game from 1991, Eric. Let's talk about uh, shoutouts in the chat. Uh, Bruins35, HH2 News, and Tech Badger 6 Thank you for joining me. So, some kind of weird inception going on here, though, where like I can thank them in, in, in chat, and then they, like, talk to me in person. It's weird. That's, uh, I mean, you know, when you're in with the channel. Let, all right, so tier ranking uh, top Muppets. Kermit okay. the Frog. Uh, A tier. Miss Piggy. D tier. <laughs> Miss Piggy's pretty shitty. Yeah. <laughs> D tier. She's Damn. not like F because she has her moments, but like garbage Muppet. <laughs> garbage Muppet. A task for blockers and bombers. Okay. What else you got? Um, Statler and Waldorf. S tier. Mainly because I've I've evolved into them. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, 
Oh, I see what, what I need to, to do. Lemmings that they're like involved in this terrifying dungeon. Make one of them a blocker and then blow it up because it can't move. Oh, that's a good idea. Or time it almost perfectly like that. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, that was like pretty good. This one's going to be it. Nope, missed it. Get one to the end. Make it a blocker. I'm going to lose a few lemmings, but that's okay. No, it's not. What you, you, you literally wanted to get one to that edge. Make uh, that one a blocker, then blow that one up. Well? Now he knows. <laughs> <laughs> a little more. Fall into the lava. They're all just going to blow up now. Okay, they're all just going to explode. <laughs> yeah, hit the button. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Look at how it's, it's just too much going on that they had to do it. Oh, my gosh. I can Look at that slowdown. Look at that I, slowdown. Uh, with the original hardware, how bad that would have been. I hope for your sake you nuke that level. It knows. That's Back funny. in the day in 1991, that would have taken like 3,000 watts worth of energy to process. Thankfully, this game was a PC game originally, so... Get it? At least that doesn't kill the other lemming. Okay. And you wait for him to get to right at the edge there. And then you blow him up. Oh, it wasn't enough. And he wasn't close enough to the edge. I'm about to break! It took a little bit off of it. It's gotta get closer. Not close enough. <laughs> Gotta be faster than that. <laughs> Listen, if that wasn't close enough. Gotta go fast. That's what she said? Did you, when you said gotta go fast, a Sonic player just passed me when you said that. That's awesome. <laughs> Somebody dressed up as Sonic. All right, Lemmings, let's all go into this dragon terrifying mouth thing. Nothing ominous about that. Actually, there isn't. It's where you're supposed to go. <laughs> I know. And it's the last one. Looks like he didn't ever need that stopper there. Oh, well. Better safe than sorry. Oh, fine. No, I might have needed it, because I don't know if anybody was going to bounce over and do that or what. Well, because you scrolled over and there was a, a wall. So I can't, I can't unstop him, right? Uh, I think you can. Is there, like, a regular walker? No, there isn't. I don't have any can other you, options. Can you click blocker on him again? I did. And it didn't do anything? All right, kill him. <laughs> Just <Kill>. die. <laughs> Also, I think that thing where it says 50 on the on the end there, I think that can uh, lower or raise the speed of which lemmings show up. So why is this one squid player just standing there, not doing anything? Good question, Dan. I don't know the answer to it. Builder. Like, I don't know, man, but it keeps me up at night. <laughs> can you imagine if this game kept people up at night? I'm, I'm, sure sure I'm sure the developers of the game has stayed up. So the builder ones will build, start building like stairs. They're going to fall to their death. <laughs> I mean, you can build too high, but what he needed to do is build, start building closer to that actual ledge that they're going to. Oh, hi, Kiri. You want to watch the stream too? All right. <laughs> Hi, kitties. Oh, kitty's still not talking to me. Kitty's like in the back. Dare you save me? Oh, him. come on. Seesaw, really? God damn it. All right, I think I get it now. There we go. Well, 
What was this on? Lemmings? Yeah. Well, this is Super Nintendo Melee. I'm playing every Super Nintendo game ever made. Well, yeah, but I'm just like... I feel it like was this a PC was... game. Okay. It was ported over? Yes. I was going to say, because I definitely played this on my old school Mac back in the day. Yes, this was a computer game. And you used your mouse. As you can see, there's a... Yeah, that's why I was me. confused. Because I'm just like, I see the courser and everything. The courser? Cursor, whatever. <laughs> the courser? The courser? Oh, those poor lemmings. I know, I kind of kind of screwed him there. Oh, what a sick move I just did. Sick move from a sick mind. Just blow him up. Right. <laughs> All right. I still have several builders left. I can make this potentially work. That's the key, is that in that area, you just keep making them build. Eventually, they'll get out. <laughs> they get out and go the wrong way. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, oh, take that crocodile, jackass. Cool. Jackass. Hey, wrong yeah, house, this is a jackass. Family friendly stream. Uh, uh... Probably the most family friendly stream of ours, yes. I do, I do tend to try not to be excessive with the swearing on this one. Try not to as well. Didn't need timbers. 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 Wow, I actually got 100% completion. How about that? I saved them all. I saved them all. And if there is kids watching, jackass means donkey. I mean, yes. And this has been Educational Hour with Matsula. You know, everything was good until this bitch came around. <laughs> <laughs> Bart, I don't want you using yeah. that word. That's what she is. Holy me, crap. <laughs> well, that might be so, but I still don't want you using that word. Alright, I might need a blocker. Oh, you definitely need a blocker. That's exactly what you need. Alt. Unbelievable. If I had realized what was at stake here, I would have had him stop a lot sooner instead of what I did, but... Yeah, now you can't put one sooner because you would be bouncing them all in between the two. Look at them fall. <laughs> it's hurting it's my because, eyes. Because it's set to 99, they're, going, they're coming out like as fast as possible. Oh, dude, we didn't make it? Nope. God damn it, Dan. <laughs> this level also looks needlessly complicated. That's the point. It's the first time where it's wide open, you can use every kind of lemming. And all you need is a stopper. <laughs> oh, my favorite thing is to is to riskily hit the blow up button and hope enough make it through before they all blow up. Wow. Why does that look like a thumb? Why does what look like a thumb? Look to the right of the con controller, then the one, and then the entrance looks like a thumb, like a big toe. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I kind of see it. That's a weird thing to like view. I just saw, like, a, an actual cave entrance. I don't know what the hell's going on right now. <laughs> MMDMKKK. Oh, KKX, okay. I s swear that's not what it said for a second. I was like, that's in a Nintendo well, game. I'm screen screenshotting well. that. Ooh, wow. All right. Excuse me, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> you did a racism. You did a racism. So you want to stop him from going into the fire, but also have one punch through that thing. Well, I already lost a couple.
I put a stopper up there. I guess it didn't matter. You've lost. Wow. The They're all gonna die. I've murdered every one of them. <laughs> you also did the digger, not the not the puncher. I see that. That's funny. <laughs> they would have died no matter what happened. Ow! <laughs> Why are you fucking on me? So there's hey, no way hey, to control the speed. You can, like, aim it perfectly to get a blocker in. Oh no! I just fell off because I wasn't paying attention. In case you. Oh, there's a yeeter right there. Oh, oh no. wow, there is a yeeter right there. Somebody wait. become a stopper, damn it. <laughs> I need the puncher now. Alright, I need to really actually focus right now. <laughs> Apparently, the stopper didn't work. Because I thought I hit a, put a stopper over there and didn't stop any of them. I am getting completely fucked on. Good lord. You saved three. I don't. This is Chris when he kills all of his lemons. Excellent. <laughs> we might not make it. This, this is one of my e easiest ones. I just got completely screwed. Holy crap. This is not working out. Yeah, I don't think we made it, dude. I don't know how we didn't make it. We qualified pretty early. I got, I got like really messed up in the middle there. And... Exactly. Well, you got a nice early puncher in there, so. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna pass the level though. You gotta get eighty? No, no, ninety. I had to get yeah. ninety. You gotta get that stopper as soon as possible. That's what I was trying to do. See if you can turn, if you way can to turn down the 99. See if you can I already tried. I can't. Oh. Alright, well you gotta get that stopper as fast as possible. You can do it, Chris. We have faith in you. As long as it's somewhere between that line and where it starts being fire. Got him. Okay, you lost a couple. I think three. Now I just get somebody to start punching a hole in the wall. Gotta find Kyle. There's Kyle right there. <laughs> I gave him a monster. Monster. And Eric's just our our local advertisement for monster. <laughs> I hope he's not popping one now. At eight o'clock at night when I have to be at work that so early in the morning. Woo! Oh, you did oh it! Oh my gosh! Barely. Eighty-six percent, baby. For a little while there, I didn't think we were gonna get to ninety. Yeah, me neither. Only 50 have to be saved. That means this is going to be hard. Smile if you love lemmings. Oh, boy. This may not be a good sign. What's about to happen? Yeah, I didn't smile. <laughs> All right. Give me a stopper. Oh, no. You need... Yeah, they need to, every single one needs to get an umbrella. And then you need a stopper. And then you're done. Or, yeah, stop her in that. Nope, they're just gonna go between the two of them. They all need an umbrella, and you need an A stopper. Be right back, fellas. Oh no, this is where I'm gonna lose. Oh, I definitely lost. Oh well. Making him a stopper. <laughs> This one's going to be hard. The umbre Okay, the umbrella ones I can do. That that one I can figure out pretty easily. You just need to stop her either at the bottom when they land or at the top when they spawn. Bitch, get off of me. Oh, missed him. And then you need to continue. I got this Lou Bega looking guy right here. Oh, this is Mambo number five. One, two, three, four, five, everybody. Through the middle. 
I got through the middle, I got through the middle, and now I must wait. Oh, nice lucky son of a gun. And now I must wait! No, I shouldn't have jumped! So now you gotta get them all. You can even, like, give them, you can even click on them before they even fall. And they'll automatically I was trying to do it. that, and it didn't seem like it was working very well, so I just said screw it and let that oh, happen. You got 90. So one died, and one got, and one was the stopper that was getting left. I by. think, I think a, one potentially died too. Yeah. Yeah, one died, and then that the guy that used the stopper. LXNL JCP. JC Benny. All right, I'm gonna pause and check out my strategy here. Hmm. I think you need a stopper and then a puncher. Then he needs to punch his way completely through that. Yeah. And I think that's all you need. It's just you need puncher after puncher after puncher. You're gonna need like four, maybe five punchers. They start punching immediately, and if they don't hit anything, they stop. Hmm. <laughs> that doesn't appear to be doing anything. They start punching immediately, and if they don't hit anything, they stop. So you have to get them right before they hit the wall. That's so what I was trying lag. to do. Yeah, it looks like there's like a small lag. Well, that strategy's out. He's about to have clicked 20 people and not gotten a single correct punch. Yo, if one of you holds me one more time, I swear. Fucking told me. Fudging. Fudging. I said fudging. Uh, they're climbing the other wall. And now they're falling. Oh, you made them climbers? Yeah, that didn't work. this one out all right I'm just gonna try to get my timing on the puncher people are grabbing me yeah there's a bunch of grabbers here non-consensual oh god it's picking up speed I do not consent Boom, shakalaka. That's first place, baby. You got one. A 20. Can't use that one. What's this one? Climb up that? I already tried that. They don't climb up the arrow side. They only climb up the other thing. Bubba, let's go! <laughs> I, I I don't know why you're enthusiastic about one of the worst games in the entire thing. Damn, no one asked for your damn opinion on this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nothing is nothing else is working. Flag. 
Are you guys interested in trying some, uh... Rocket League? Rocket League? Yeah. I mean, I gotta go to work. Trash at. No, I'm just saying, like, sometime. Oh, I could do it. I, I mean, Eric could play. I own the game, yeah, so I don't own any cars. <laughs> And I'm hella bad at it, but I'd make really yeah. good content. All right. You know what? We, we have been going for an hour and a half. This is where I generally call the streams anyway, and I'm stuck. So I'm going to blow up everybody. Blow. Blow it. Blow it. Dude, how have we not gotten a goal yet? Because it's a team game, and our team sucks. Oh, my God. They got the Kind of fun watching yeah, our them team up. trash. And this is why I don't like this one. <laughs> oh. I love how slow the blow up is because it was a it was a console game. <laughs> All right, so I made it to level eleven. That's pretty good. All right, yeah. All right, so our final analysis for tonight: uh, Super Smash TV got B tier. That was the most fun bullet hell I've had since I played uh, Gradius 3 back on day two of this show. Uh, Super Scope 6 is not rated because I do not have it to play. Uh, Nolan's Ryan Baseball, that got a D tier. Baseball games have been better. These early ones are not good. The hit detection was off. And the fielding was really awkward. Pit Fighter was an easy F. It is notorious for being one of the worst Super Nintendo games ever made, and thus it it absolutely earns that reputation. Not even a little bit of fun to be had. Smart Ball was the surprise of the night. I'm giving that a B tier. The controls are a little wonky, but overcoming the curve made for a really fun platformer. And the only reason I really stopped playing was because it was hurting my fingers. Sin Cara. Your fingies. Yeah, so that was a Sin Cara game. And then finally, Lemmings, solid B tier. A really fun puzzle game. That I was genuinely enjoying figuring out what to do. I do believe that that would have been a better game on PC. And I think that the fact that it's a mouse cursor game with a Super Nintendo controller prevents it from getting A tier. But what a fun little puzzler. I genuinely enjoyed that and I would play that again. So uh, Smart Ball and Smart Ball, Smash TV and Lemmings were the winners this week. So three B tiers and then two... Crap games. All right, guys. So here's the preview of what's to come on the future episodes of Super Nintendo Melee. The next 10 games in line. Let's go through them. WWF Super WrestleMania. Ooh. PGA Tour Golf. No more Ooh. YLI Country Club. Now we're just regular golf. The no, this was straight up PGA. Straight up PGA. The Adams Family. How appropriate as the Halloween season is approaching as we record this. Uh, extra innings. More baseball. <laughs> This could be like the fourth or fifth baseball game I've played, and we're, that's only the 45th game on the list out of 720-something, so good God. Uh, World League Soccer, I believe that spawned an entire franchise, if I'm not mistaken. Is that, is that what Pez became? Yeah, like, actually, it's not even Pez anymore. It's it's uh, eFootball. No. Yeah. Uh, a game called Raiden Trad. Never heard of this one. It might be Raiden. Raiden? I, I, I'm just saying Raiden because of Mortal Kombat, but yeah, you're right. It could be Raiden Trad. Uh, Super Adventure Island. Now, I had Adventure Island on the NES. I've never played Super Adventure Island, but I imagine it's more or less the same thing. Uh, a game called Zardion will be coming up. That's another one. Weird title. Never heard of it, but um, let me go back up the list here. I'd also never heard of... What was a game that shocked me? That ended up being really fun and I wasn't expecting it. Uh no, I had heard of Joe and Mac. So that doesn't count. Paperboy? <laughs> no, I'd heard of Paperboy. I rented the NES game all the time. Act Razor? No, I knew about Act Razor. I'm looking for So this is gonna go back to old Dan and I content from back in the day. But um <laughs> we're calling those games the Mr. Nuts category. Where you just play the game, you don't know what it is, and it ends up being fun. What in tarnation is going on here? So Sorry. they have the bracket out for the AEW world title. Oh, nice. oh yeah. 
I they vacated both all the trio yes. tags title and the all right AEW world title. So real quick, let me wrap up my stream, boys. Sorry about that. That's okay. So it's fun having you here. Uh, True Golf Classics Pebble Beach Golf Links. So I'd already played Wildlife Country Club, and now we're going to Pebble Beach, which Ooh. is one of the classic. Classics, yeah. Classics. <clears throat> that will be follow- That will be the fiftieth game on the list. That will be followed up by Contra Three: The Alien Wars. Oh, you had Contra, That's considered one of the best Contras. Yep, so. you had Contra, then you had Super C, and now you're going to the Alien Wars. So. <laughs> That's going to be one I'm going to have to enter the Konami code because Contra kicks my ass every time I play it, but it's so much fun. And then game number 52 will be The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, which of course is my all-time favorite video game, period. And that one will be getting its own episode, much like Super Mario World did. Oh, interesting. And have then... you played the, um, it's a Super Nintendo game. Uh, the one with like the zombie neighbors and stuff. Yeah, zombies zombie ate my neighbors. neighbors. I haven't yeah. played it, but it will show up at some point in this project. That was a fun game, and I, I will played... play it then. And then uh, in the near future, those are the next ten games in line. And then in the near future, after that, just going down the list, I do see that we're getting our first Simpsons game on the Super Nintendo, Krusty's Super Fun House. We're also getting um couple of other games that I think spawned some franchises here came from franchises. Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2, uh, Legend of Mystical Ninja. It turns into Dynasty Warriors, I believe. Mario Paint will be coming up pretty soon. Uh, there will be the sequel to the Home Alone game I played. We'll see if that ends up being a nice surprise. And I'm just going through a Final Fantasy Mystic Quest and then Bart's Nightmare is right behind it. There's Super Double Dragon on the horizon. Uh, Prince of Persia, Super Star Wars. Those are both on the horizon. Spider-Man and the X-Men and Arcade's Revenge. I believe that's LJN, but I won't hold that too much against them. Yeah, it's all coming up here. I've got the first 210 games out of the 700 list on the document here. Uh, so just to recap, uh, I'll, I'll tell this to Matt and Eric before we sign off here. Of all the games I've played so far, 41 titles. Two of them have made S tier, which would be Super Mario World and Super Castlevania 4. Ooh, Castlevania. And several A tier games have spawned up, including Final Fight and Final Fantasy 2. Oh. Lots of B tier games. They're not good enough to be A, but I have played several B tier games, including F Zero. Gradius 3, Act Razor, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Home Alone, which was a, a surprise, Joe and Mac, which was also a surprise, and then just today, <laughs> Super Smash TV, Smart Ball, and Lemmings. Everything else has gotten C or lower and is therefore not worth talking about. Except for uh, the two games that made it to the F tier, Ultraman Towards the Future and Pit Fighter, both of which have more than earned those reputations. And when you go online and look them up, you realize that is the case. I'm going to wrap up this episode of Super Nintendo Melee here. Thank you guys for tuning in on the YouTube channel. Continue watching our streams. Dan will do Supercard every Monday, Grab Bag on Tuesday. Then you have me on Wednesday and Thursday for Super Nintendo Melee, followed by whatever the hell I want on Thursday. Uh, Dan will be taking back over this Friday after absence and bringing back CKCW. And then Saturday, join us for Sports in the Afternoon with Dan and Multiplayer Madness in the Evening on Saturdays. Oh, and this Saturday is Among Us! Yes. Oh, we're... baby. It's Super Sus Saturday, or Saturday Night Sus, or Susterday Night Live. Susterday Night Live. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. And uh, we will all be involved with that. You can also check us out multiple Fall Guys, as we just mentioned, Rocket League coming soon. And thanks to the PS Plus, look for a future video from me where I go through the PS Plus library and talk about all the games that are in it, what I'll play, and... Actually, I'm willing to play everything, and that's going to be my ultimate request here. So you guys who watch that stream, please check that out and help me choose a game. I'm going to wrap up this game. Thank you, Dan, for joining me as always, and thank you to my guest stars, Matt and Eric, for tuning in. Check out Sick Minds of Matt and Eric here on YouTube, and you can listen to all of us in various podcast streams and other goodness on CKCC Video on YouTube. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next week.